Hi there, uh, Lisa T. This is my last contest video for the day. Probably won't see another uh, upload from me until uh, Sunday. So I am here to enter Mega Jeff's Rock Hard Vinyls six albums and six minutes contest. It's all about the number six. He is subscribing 600. Sub he is celebrating 600 subscribers, uh, having us talk about six albums in six minutes. I have to take up some of my time taking a drink of water. Oh gosh, I hope I don't go over the six minutes and have to re-record. Okay, must be a subscriber to his channel, check. Uh, make a video entry, doing it right now, and I'll be in putting a hashtag in there as well. Okay, so we start with our oldest and youngest albums in our collection. Um, he wants to see the oldest and youngest. Okay, so let me tell you, uh, the, the oldest that I have, I'm actually even afraid to touch it. It is disgusting. Um, so I looked it up on Discogs from 1938. Bolero Boston Pops Orchestra. Um, this album is in really bad shape, y'all. Uh, the cover to it is like falling apart. It smells, I, it's all cracked up. I honestly might just have to put it in the trash can. Uh, but I also have this uh, John Philip Sousa marches uh, from the early 1900s. So I just wasn't able to find out exactly when uh, on DECA. Of course, every time I see DECA records, I think of our friend Madam Sin. But I don't think this is quite his cup of tea. <laughs> Military marches. Uh, can't quite see it. But, uh. So that would be the the oldest, perhaps. Perhaps. I don't know. I've got some pretty old stuff. The newest, I, I already showed you today in another contest video, but I'm going to show it again. This is a brand new band, Mutant Strain. This is their self-titled EP and um, just released November of 2020, 500 copies. It is sold out on Bandcamp. It is available on Discogs for less than $20. Go support a new band, Mutant Strain. They are very, they're hard punk, you know, so, you know, it depends on your tolerance for that, but yeah. Okay, the second is the first and last release, a band with a catalog containing at least six studio albums total. Show him their first and the latest release. Well, my favorite band of all time is Talking Heads, and I have their first and their last release. Um, first release, of course, 77. This is uh, one, uh, a reissue, and it sounds absolutely fantastic. I wore out my, set, my uh, OG. Uh, this is an OG. It's still, you know, this is not my favorite album of theirs. I'll do, although I do like it a lot, so I haven't spun it as much. Um, boy, it looks like I've really worn it out on the top, though. Flipping, <laughs> flipping past it. Poor, poor album hasn't had enough love. Uh, this is Naked, and uh, Naked came out in '89. Uh, so they, uh, they made many albums in that 12 years, and. I was absolutely heartbroken when they called it quits. Uh, the third is two extremes, two albums that are at totally different extremes of the musical spectrum and why I appreciate each one. Well, the first thing that came to mind was back in the late seventies, uh, early eighties, uh, punk music was, about, was very anti-disco. Um, just the two were just, which I hated because I loved both genres. Okay, so uh, in 1980, uh, well, Rodney Bingenheimer from Rodney on the Rock, he curated many of these compilation albums featuring mostly punk bands and post-punk and anything he found interesting and different. 
And uh, this contains, you know, this has like uh, Agent Orange, Adolescence, Circle Jerks, lots of cool bands on here. And that is punk and disco. You can't get any more different from punk than disco. And other than the Bee Gees and Donna Summer, which I didn't want to be boring and show them, I wanted to get even cheesier. Who was more disco than Casey and the Sunshine Band? Hmm. This has Boogie Shoes and uh, Get Down Tonight. That's the way I like it. Oh, my gosh. So those are my six albums in six minutes. And uh, why, oh, why those two mean so much to me? Well, I think I already kind of touched on it. My childhood, man. I grew up in Southern California, born in 67. So uh, love all of you. I want to hit the six-minute mark, so I got to say bye. Thank you, Jeff. Bye.